Hi, welcome to POIT. This video, I am going to show you how you are going to work on tickets when you are working as an IT admin or IT support role. So first, let me open the ticket. So we received a ticket. We received a ticket, and now let me open the ticket. So here you can see that I cannot log into the account. Let me click on this ticket. And here on the right side, I can see the description. Okay, so the user is Sararik. Sararik, she is unable to log into the account. And she has mentioned that, Hi team, yesterday I updated my Outlook password and lost the paper where I noted it down. Now I cannot log into my account. Kindly help me as soon as possible as my work is getting affected so obviously the work will get affected because the user is unable to log into the system then then she would not be able to do any of her day-to-day -day work and she has also mentioned that you can reach me at below contact details as the user lost access to her email completely she mentioned the personal details the personal email id and the phone number so she clearly mentioned she clearly mentioned that she updated the password yesterday she noted it down somewhere on the piece of paper and today she lost that paper and unfortunately even she cannot remember the new password so let me go ahead and let me update the password for this user and let me share the new password so the user details are sarah rick let me go to the active directory let me search for sarah rick First, let me see whether the user account is active or not. If I go to the account, I can see that the user account is not logged. Even the account is also not expired because it has been set to never. So let me click on OK and let me update the password now. Reset the password. So I'm updating the password of user. And here I'm selecting this user must change password at next login because when user going to log in with this password, it will give a prompt to the user to update the password. So user can update whatever she want to do it. So let me click on OK now. See the password for Sarah Rick has been changed. Okay, let me close this. Let me minimize my active directory and here First, let me copy this. Let me copy the user personal email ID. Either you can make a call to this number and you can share the password or if not, even you can drop an email to this Gmail ID, which has been mentioned over here. So let me click on replay all. And here in the two, let me mention the user personal email id because user do not have access to the organization email because she forgot the password okay so let me drop the email hi sarah kindly find the new password below so let me mention it as the new password I'm mentioning that make sure letter S the first letter S is of uppercase so before that let me mention here that Thank you for contacting PYT IT support. Kindly find the new password details below. Let me mention it as new password details below. And let me give me have mentioned the new password. And I also mentioned that make sure S is of uppercase. And now let me send this. Let me click on send. So now 
the user will be receiving an email so i have worked on this ticket right now the status is of open the ticket status is open let me click over here let me click on closed see now the status has been successfully updated so the ticket has been closed so in the real time this is how you will be working on the tickets so mostly in many of the organizations the password should be shared only through the call you need to directly make a call to the user and you need to share the password but even you can share the password through email also thank you for watching this video and for more videos please do subscribe our channel pyt